if you are not from here, you are an alien. I will, and the person says, I won't say that again. Well, of course they would still call the extraterrestrials aliens. This whole thing about alien comes from the concept, which I mentioned in my videos before, of countries. Human farms are countries, and the farmers are the governments, not the extraterrestrials. Damn it. Please. And this is the whole mindset, which is one of the reasons why. If the first contact was supposed to happen on the 4th of August, and the most reason and to s explain why, if it's supposed to happen, is the whole mindset and disrespect and assumptions, name calling, whatever you call it, about the extraterrestrials. You know, this is so dumb. I don't know how or what I can say it. The thing is, you know, I'm s I advise you, please wake up. And you go around and the whole saying they're demons and everything. You know, I had been abused by my parents when I was a child. From day one, I had was born differently. I actually was born with blue skin, and I had blue blood. Mm -hmm. I had the blood. I had to, an injection that would actually would create because I was creating like methoglobin. And I had to have injection to, so that my body would produce um, hemoglobin. And um, so I just ended up becoming like pink in a sense. What do you call it? And if I was in India, I would probably be looked as the reincarnation of Hare Krishna or something like that. Anyway, so. Um, I was born with ambiguous genitalia as well, and my parents felt that in order to correct me, uh, um, to f to correct me to to suit the what is natural and considered um, natural to God and Christianity and the whole perspective, is to was to min min mutilate and try and force me to be the gender that they wanted. I'd have a hell of a life because of that. And I had no childhood whatsoever. I was never free. I was always forced and told what to do. Tried to force me to tell me what to think and not how to think. Fortunately, I am a bit different, and this is the thing that actually helped me. If it wasn't for Ananya as well, my extraterrestrial mom. When I was conceived, um, my mother saw lights and that. She, she thought it was, she claimed angels or demons or whatever. And, um,. This is why I get upset with this whole um, bullshit because it comes down to me at a personal level and I get upset I go fuck you kind of thing because my emotions just boil because I get back memories of what happened to me when I was a child. So. This is this is the whole thing, and I am quite traumatized or distressed. Like a better word, distressed. That this sort of thing exists. I thought you know it was only 
in regards to my parents and the whole church and the whole Christian cult belief thing you know escaping from that and coming you know uh uh it's it's spread like a virus to be honest and it comes to me on the internet comments on the YouTube um, what my parents did with my art when I was a child they tore, they tore it up and they burnt it it's very much like what I still do um, tore it up and burnt it um, and this is and then you try and get away from that you get banned you get blocked you get censored your work gets removed which is also one is the one thing is I'm put upset about this. Uh, I went to Newcastle Pride, um, did a painting for Simone, my new friend. Um, because she couldn't, she, she chose not to go to the Pride because she had things to do on her computer assignments and whatnot. Um, she chose to stay and use my internet um I just saw uh, I thought it was you know instead of buying something at the pride because it's not the same as when you actually create something in the event and it kind of like attaches the memories to it and um, and I wanted to share her that with the the painting gave it to her as a gift two weeks down the line bloody boyfriend well yeah she's not a boyfriend anymore but well uh, the leech I can say because he used a hundred pounds of my phone bill the leech um, punched a hole through the painting and then tore the canvas up off the the wooden part of the canvas the frame of the canvas it's it's like th this sort of behavior that I get from society you know I gave that as a gift to Simone and that male twat just it's it basically kind of like tore, tore a part of me inside and it's exactly the same thing what Facebook is doing and exactly the same thing what DeviantArt had done but the, advant the only advantage of something that's digital is that you can have multiple copies exact copies, clones of it but um, at the moment uh, in reality yeah, with a canvas and paint the only way to make a direct copy is with a matter sequencer or uh, I don't know what you call it at the, at the moment I'll just look it up and then Star Trek calls it matter sequencers but I just want to find the what they call it it's already been invented actually it's just governments that are not allowing this technology to be released. This is Earth. Well, I think it is Earth-based technology, but it's nanotechnology. Uh, but the UFO anti-gravity technology, genuine reverse-engineered extraterrestrial crafts, and I think um, might be a bit of insight from uh, the extraterrestrials into the nanotech. find it matter replicator I think
because um, one of the reasons why this um, this technology is not being released is because the one percent and extraterrestrials are willing to help but you go around calling them aliens and things like that is just one of the reasons why you know and in saying invading airspace and all you know who gives you the right to claim the planet people claim land bits of land and all that who gives you the right to do that the planet is shared with everyone and the extraterrestrials they made uh, worked with the evolutionary process of life called the system and development life cycle as um, the book would say intelligent design but it's not intelligent design as in creationism creationism like with God and all that this was systematically a long step process of of having organisms you know go through and all that so yeah that's what I'm going to say at the moment and they have every right to be here um, because people would buy engineered by extraterrestrials which I mentioned in the video and going saying that violating airspace and all that crap countries crap like that nah you know please wake up I am um, yeah so I think I've run out of what I'm gonna say but um I've actually worn out because if I do an animated video or something like that it won't make a difference I just noticed on the increase because people has become more anti-extraterrestrial through the fear factor of the false flag just like I mentioned in the video and there was no false flag but it was just a fear factor and I mentioned that just to enforce more surveillance more mind control more conformity and things like that and more hatred and more xenophobia what you're saying about calling extraterrestrials aliens and things they are star people like this Native American I've subscribed to and with all the feathers and everything, a chief or something. It's disrespectful. Which is why I like the Raelian Elohim. Which is basically the, the original ancient word. So, yeah. And that's what I'm going to say. And if you don't like using the word Ilahem or Ilaha because oh it's a Raelian thing you know being Raelian is not a religion it's a matter of my spirituality and agreement with things and from what I've experienced and observed so anyway I think my video is kind of like frozen so all I'm gonna say is much love and